Now, most of the content that I create is based on the formal dressy menswear area of alterations, uh, but I have a lot of people who want to know how to tackle some casual clothes. And a lot of the processes for casual and formal kind of transcend each other, but there are key things that like denim in particular does that makes it really hard to alter, namely these double stitch seams. And for me in particular, I got around this just by taking in certain sides and doing some kind of jury rigged situations to get the job done, but not actually professionally tackling it. But now what I'm going to do is do my best on my home sewing machine to show you guys some professional ways around some of this harder denim work. Because as I'll show you in this video right here, when you try and do the alterations on a pair of jeans only on one seam, and this also goes for chinos if they have a top stitch on them, you'll see that the pant starts to twist. So on these black pair of pants I did a while ago, and you can see that the side seam isn't exactly where it should be, which is okay if you're looking for a quick job. Uh, which I was in the case for these pants. But if you want something more professional or you're doing this for a client, you're going to want to do it in this new procedure that I've found out. I'm back, different outfit, different day. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Sometimes it takes a couple weeks to get these videos out, but I'm gonna get them out to you as quickly as possible. So we're here taking in the um, double stitch side of the denim. Uh, if you follow my other videos or know how to taper just a normal straight seam to begin with, that's what I've already done probably a few years ago on these pants. So if you wanna do it on both sides, you're just gonna go normal this side, and I'll show you what we're gonna do over here. So right here, I have the pants turned inside out, showing me the inseam of the pants. And this is right where, obviously, the zipper and the seat and crotch all come together. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the stitching, probably around, and I should have a tape measure on for this, three to six inches from either end, just like this. The older the pants are, the harder this is gonna be because that seam gets a lot of wear and tear on it. So here we go, this is it opened up. And the amount that you wanna open is going to depend on how much you need to taper in. So. What we're going to essentially do is the same as for a dress shirt, is we're going to taper in where we start right in this little gap here, and then we're gonna taper it out down the leg, pretty much eliminating this entire stitch. Now, you can undo it, press it open, all that kind of stuff, um, but if you're taking in just a little bit, you're probably going to only need to take out a little bit because you just gotta get it right in there to ease in nicely, but if you're taking in a lot, there's gonna be quite a bit of tapering, so it might need to come in sooner, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, but I'm just gonna open up mine about this much, and then I'm going to be sewing from this line here the amount I'm taking in. And again, I'm showing you this for demonstration purposes. These pants do not need tapered on me, so I'm just going to be guessing how much because these are gonna be way too tight once I try them on. Um, but if you are doing this and you're trying it on and you're pinning on both sides how much you wanna take in, and obviously you've already probably taken in this side of the pant, um, so that's just what I'm assuming. You know how much you're taking it in. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments. Um, so here we go. We're just going to taper in right there, and we're gonna come out along this. Now for this job, I'm going to be just taking in probably the amount that this seam is, just so that I don't have too much bulk that I'm dealing with. Um, and I'm gonna take this down the entire way on the pant. All the way to the bottom and then remove the hem at the bottom as well. and keep marking it straight down, but mark it whatever amount you need taken in. Just like that. Now let's move over to the sewing machine. So let's talk about the setup I have on my machine. I have it set at a standard straight stitch, which on my machine is A. Make sure you check your guide for your own. Length, I'm actually gonna put it to three, to three and a half, just because whenever I'm doing an alteration, um, for myself, I like to have a little bit of play because it's a lot easier to take out a three and a half 
than a two. Um, so if I do a three and a half and I like it, then I just go back over it with a two, make sure everything's set in stone. But this allows room for error. Um, with doesn't matter, we're doing a straight stitch. And I have a very, very light color pink thread. This is also a all purpose thread. Um, if this were me doing this for a client or an actual pair of pants that I'm going to be wearing afterwards, um, I'd be using a heavy duty denim thread. In this case, it would be black. Um, but because I'm going to be taking this out right after to make them fit me again, I'm going to be using this very light pink. And I also didn't have any denim thread that was light enough to show you the work on the black pants. So that's kind of the theory behind that. We'll see if, the, if this actually holds up over the denim. It's not going to be a long-term solution at all, but it should give you the idea of what it will look like while I'm sewing it. So let's get right into it. And obviously, as you know, I am just doing the one side. Do this on both sides. I mean, it's already opened on both sides, so you're just gonna joop, 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 but you get it. Also, another thing is you might not need your pant length, pant to be tapered all the way into the crotch. If that's the case, you're just gonna open up like you did at the top here, down lower on the pant. So for this one, I only really need to taper it from like the calf down. So what I would have done is I would have started it here and just went down that way rather than all the way up here. But I figured might as well show you the more labor intensive job and you can kind of get the rest of the other jobs done on your own easily because it's a modification. So I'm just gonna start at the bottom, making sure the bottom's lined up and just follow the stitch line all the way down the pant. So this is not my straightest stitch by any means. So probably go over and redo that one. Um, but that's what it's going to look like just generally, obviously with a better looking thread that matches. But let's go take a look over and see how it turned out on the outside. So as you see here, this gives you a very clean, oh, like straight seam like you have on the other side. This just eliminates the double stitching all the way down. Now with doing this method, you are going to eliminate it as a whole because top stitching this leg is pretty much impossible unless you wanna take apart this seam here, like rip it all the way up to the side. Then you can open it up and top stitch on top of it to give that denim look, which is a possibility. Um, but if you're just looking for a quick solution to taper it on both sides, this is the way to do it. Um, also, another thing to note is taking it in all the way to the top makes it look a lot cleaner than if you stop right here, because then you have that double stitching all the way to the top still, where you will need to open up this side and then get in there and stitch it down. I'm gonna show you a few more things as far as like finishing off the hem. I mean, you should know how to do that by now um, if you're getting into advanced tapering like this, but like you know, you roll it up and you top stitch it, but I'm gonna show you what to do with all this extra bulky fabric that you find inside. So here we are back inside. As you can see, there's a, this is thick. This is a lot of fabric to be dealing with. How do you make that comfortable, especially if you want a tight fitting pant? So all you're going to do is open up the entire seam. Again, I'm not going to do it on these because I still wanna wear these pants uh, and it will ruin them if I take it out. But you want it pretty much to look like this center part that we just did all the way down the seam that you just did on both sides. This way, instead of having double bunched up fabric here, you're going to have just two layers of fabric laying together like this. And what you can do is you can cut, you can zigzag, you can um, overlock stitch to get that, stop that from fraying, and then just press it open like we do on a normal seam like this. So this will pretty much be exactly on this side. Now, when it comes to the hem, again, like I taught in my other taper videos, you're just going to roll up back to its original size, but with all of this extra fabric out of the way, it's going to actually lay clean and look good on you. But just make sure that you open that up so that you can press it flat. Or even like I said, if you wanna rip apart this side to give that top stitched look, then when you press it flat, you can still open it up from this side and top stitch over top of the flat part and give the same look as if it was like this distressed looking denim seam. Hopefully that helps you guys. 
That's the process of tapering the pants. Hopefully that this short and sweet message came across clear and is helping you to take your more casual denim pants and make them fit you snug and comfortable as anything you've ever worn before. I know it can be daunting and I know this is an exact full on tailoring tutorial for how to do it. Trust me, it's coming. Um, but this is how to overdo it on, overcome it, I should say, on your home sewing machine. Now, another thing I did not mention during the sewing machine review is make sure that you go and you buy a denim needle. This is gonna be thicker than your normal universal one, so you're not gonna break it. Your machine's gonna go a little bit better through the material. So just make sure that you have a heavier duty needle in your machine when performing all these alterations. Um, and also it helps if it's a pair of pants you really like and you're not just testing this out, put a new needle in. It's always safe to say put a new needle in because if it's dull and punch tries to punch through, it can tear the fabric, it can break the needle, which can then tear the fabric. So it's just better off that you go ahead and just refresh the needle. Next, I'm gonna show you just kind of how you can go about doing the same exact process-ish with your waistband so that you know that it's gonna look good on you and also is going to look good because you can have the top stitch a lot easier on the waist than you can on the legs because you got this cylinder, which is a pain to fit under your machine. If you guys have any questions talking about your denim alterations as far as tapering goes, the legs, let me know, hit me up in the comments. I am here to answer any questions you guys have. Hopefully again, if this was informative, leave a like, subscribe, notification, all of that stuff helps get us out to many people. Um, also, would like to let you guys know, I am in the process of a very fun um, project coming out. I'm not gonna release it yet because I wanna make sure that all of my ducks are in a row before I just jump in and show you guys what I'm going to be doing, but it'll be taking on a very fun vlog style here in the near future with some projects I have coming up. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you again for all for tuning into the end of this, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.